Room Tokyo One Way Yokoso, welcome to my channel. My name is Claudia. First of all, thank you for watching my videos and uh, special thanks to all those persons who have subscribed to my channel. Today I wish to focus on uh, the Goiwai Bukuro, uh, Goshugi Bukuro and Okoden Bukuro. Uh, if it has happened to you to go to a stationery shop, uh, you will see lots of particular types of envelopes which are used uh, in different occasions. In uh, Japan, usually when there is uh, an occurrence or a social event like um, getting of age or uh, graduation, uh, moving from an apartment to, the, to another, or uh, the birth of a child, um, they, uh, instead of a present, they give you these um, envelopes uh, which contains money. And for the Goiwai Bukuro, uh, these are the envelopes for all these occasions. And then there are other two types of envelopes uh, which I will focus on, which are those for the marriages and those for the funerals. So, um, as maybe some of you uh, have never seen uh, these envelopes and do not understand what I'm talking about, I will play a little video. So in the in the video you have seen the um, Goshugi Bukuro, which are the envelopes you buy when uh, a friend, a relative, uh, or a co-worker get married, and um, the amount of money that uh, you are going to give. Uh, depends on your own feelings and to the relation you have to the couple. So in the video you have seen the envelopes that um, are suitable for uh, 10,000 yen and for 50,000 yen. I'm sorry, for uh, up from 1,000 yen up to uh, 30,000 yen. Then in the photo, in the next photo, there is the envelope for um, an amount of about 30,000 yen and the last one is uh, for 50,000 yen or more. Now they are um, an example, there are many many types those you have seen in the in, in this in this video are those that that stationery was selling and by the way you can find them also in the Yakuen shop of course uh, the one you buy at the Yakuen shop uh, shows that it comes from a Yakuen shop because uh, you will notice from the quality of the paper and it depends on what relationship you have with that person, but and on the occasion, but um, a Japanese person uh, put great, um, how can I say, attention to small things. For example, when you give a present, uh, sometimes the first thing that they look at is the paper. With, with 
which you have dropped the present, the quality of the paper. So, um, as I told you, uh, the amount of money depends on, on the relation you have uh, uh, with a couple and um, you will uh, give the envelope at the reception at the wedding. So, uh, when you put the money inside, remember never ever to put uh, even numbers. They must be always uh, odd numbers. Why? Because even numbers can be split in two and it's not a, a good sign, especially for a wedding. So, uh, the amount of money goes from uh, 10,000 yen, uh, 30,000 yen, 50,000 yen, and then uh, 7,000 yen, you don't have to use it because uh, also it's considered bad luck. 80,000 yen, which is an even number, but in Japan, as in China, it's considered a lucky number. So 80,000 yen is okay. And uh, 90,000 90, 90, yen also uh, you should avoid because uh, um, from, um, how can I say, uh, the pronunciation of uh, the number nine could be similar to the one of uh, um, the one of sufferance, sufferance. So uh, avoid number nine two. Then uh, you can put a one hundred thousand yen and how much you want, but always consider the this kind of uh, numbers to, to avoid. And uh, the money should be new money. Usually you go to the, um, to the bank to have the new ones. For example, I have here 1000 yen. This one is in, oops, I'm sorry, in quite nice condition. But as you can see in the middle, it has a line, so you should not put this one inside. It should be really, you know, when it comes out of the bank and it's really straight and new, so you should have that. When you, you open the envelope, you'll find inside another envelope where you put the money in. So, Considering that you open from this side, the person receiving is open on this side, you are going to put your money in this way, so that they will see the face of the person on the note. And then you put inside, you, you close, and uh, so the person, when it opens, it face the the face on the on the money, and then um, there are different types. Anyhow, this this is an, an example. It, it would be white, and you have to write your name, possibly your uh, sorry, possibly your address, and the amount of money inside the envelope. Okay. Now, what happens if, a, let's say, uh, you are in a um, quite good relation with a couple, your friends, so you should 
put inside, let's say, 50,000 yen. And you are a couple. And it would be really pricey. So you can put it together and instead of uh, uh, 100,000 yen, you can make it 80,000 yen and uh, yeah this this could, could be a solution but it's up to you what else uh, is there on the ah yes you will recognize the Goshugi Bukuro because they have the um, kanji of Kotobuki and the knot the ribbon it's uh, uh, if you try to undo it it's impossible to undo okay now uh, we go to the okoden bukuro and here again there are some uh, photographs So it was the video, I'm sorry. In the video <coughs> you have seen the uh, Okoden Bukurova uh, for amount of money uh, up to 10,000 yen, 30,000 yen, 50,000 yen, uh, 100,000 yen or more. And uh, some persons, uh, you have seen someone are in silver or a little bit flashy. Uh, if you don't like it, you can switch in the to the uh, to another one of less amount of money. And also some persons, because the one uh, with um, one hundred thousand uh, yen. Uh, are, are bigger because they have to contain much much more money and um, you can switch to one of 50,000 yen and put 100,000 yen if you don't want to to be too much how can I see uh, to appear I don't know if you were discreet. Anyhow, uh, here mm, the rules changes. You have to put inside money which is old. I don't say which is falling apart, but <clears throat> and so, so this one, if it was a new one, sorry, you make just a little bit of something so that the, you, you see mine already had this this line inside now it has this one here so it's uh, this line here so oh, la, sorry i can't uh, i'm really so you see it's it's it looks not new again you put your money inside the envelope always the person receiving is opening it so it's facing the money. This time, instead of the face on the note facing the person receiving when it uh, when that person opens the, um, the envelope, you will put it on the rear. Okay? So here is the face here is the rear so they will face the rear all money and facing the rear another thing uh, please remember to write your name your address and the amount of money you put in the envelope now um, you have seen from the images uh, these envelopes 
have to be open to reach the inside uh, envelope where you put the money. So uh, once you have uh, put the money inside the um, white envelope, then you have to put again inside this exterior wrap and um, put back the ribbons, etc. Pay attention to assemble it as it was before. Anyhow, uh, so for example, the ribbon, if it's, uh, it's laces, are facing up, uh, pay attention not to face it down, etc. Anyhow, there are the instructions uh, coming with the envelope when you buy it. And sometimes you will find the envelope where always please put the amount of money you, you have inserted, inserted, sorry. And uh, sometimes there is a, a, a white sheet of paper and then you write there um, your name and, and your address. Uh, it, it, there are uh, some slightly different types. Anyhow, one thing to put great attention uh, regarding the Okoden Bukuro is that there are two types. So one type is uh, the envelope that you are going to give um, to the family to, of the deceased when uh, uh, you attend the funeral or another occasion uh, and uh, um, it has to be given within 49 days since uh, the death of the person and then there is another envelope that you can buy, uh, which is used after those 49th days. Um, I'm not an expert uh, in Buddhism, so uh, I will tell you what it has been told me, and I hope not to be mistaken. But um, in the first uh, 49 days, uh, the soul of the deceased is still in um, its uh, spirit ghost form, having not yet reached uh, its destination. Then, uh, after 49 days, uh, you have to switch to this other uh, envelope, and usually, um, after one year uh, of the death of the person, the family organize another uh, religious ceremony and usually only uh, the family attends. But, uh, for example, if you were uh, a very good friend of the deceased or you had other connection, uh, that brings the family to invite you to this ceremony, remember you have to bring again the envelope, which is the second type of envelope. So I hope that uh, um, the information I gave you uh, in this video could be of some utility and um, uh, for sure, I will watch this video again because uh, all these rules uh, will be soon forgotten. And sorry if the video is so long. Uh, I will uh, soon make one video on uh, weddings and one video on uh, funerals. And uh, I thank you so much for your attention. If you like the video, please give a thumb up, and uh, if you wish, you could uh, subscribe. Um, remember to click on the bell so that um, every time a new video is uploaded, you will receive an email um, advising you. And uh, that's all for today. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.